Say hello everyone. I've never got answers until yesterday. We both leaned in to look at the price and it said 58 and a half thousand. Pandan cake, nine out of 10. It is the most gorgeous thing I've seen in my life. A hair dryer and a straightener in one. Honestly, we can't do anything right. We can't even do a photo booth right. <laughs> everyone welcome back to another weekly vlog it is tuesday and this week has actually started off really positively hope you're all good hope you're having a lovely week etc etc let's get straight into it so yesterday was monday obviously it's tuesday today that's how the days of the week work um, and yesterday I actually had a hospital appointment. I absolutely hate anything health related. I hate going to the hospital. I hate going to the doctors. It just makes me nervous. I feel like when I'm sitting in the waiting room, they're about to tell me my fate and that I'm really horrendously ill. In reality, that's never happened, not even once. But luckily, touch wood. If you watch my vlogs on the reg, you might know that every now and again, I'll go for a blood test. Um, because basically I first went to my doctors and told them that I was really tired, like, too tired. I'm 24, I get eight hours of sleep a night and I'm still needing to have a nap in the afternoon. What's wrong with me is basically what I said. I first said this in 2018. That's when this whole process began. And since then, it's been like a blood test every six months or every eight months or whenever they feel like I need a blood test. I've been testing my thyroid, this little gland in your neck here. I didn't think it was so significant. I thought, mm, it's only your neck, innit? No, your thyroid controls a lot of your body, your tiredness, your muscles, your heat <laughs> literally so much but i've never got answers until yesterday every time i've had a blood test it's been oh your thyroid's slightly overactive but it's not that bad so we'll keep an eye on it every single time we'll keep an eye on it yesterday i went to a thyroid specialist well i think it's called endo endocrology or something like that glands in your body specialist and he said your thyroid is underactive i was like what I've been told for years it's overactive and he basically said it's not so underactive that we would consider it a real issue and this man was so helpful it's the first time I really feel like right I've got an answer now finally gonna crack this fatigue basically my thyroid is a little bit lazy sometimes not all the time my levels over the years have been very up and down this is what I learned yesterday so your thyroid produces two hormones T3 and T4 and my levels of those are normal however to produce those hormones, a little part of your brain, I can't remember what it's called, I'll put it on screen. This in your brain sends TSH to your thyroid gland so that it can produce T3 and T4. So it starts at brain, right? And my blood tests have shown that my brain is having to work overtime, then normal, then overtime, then normal, then overtime. So it's very on and off. And when it's having to work overtime, it's because my thyroid is lazy. It's not producing the T4 itself. So my brain is having to send more TSH to my thyroid, which I'm pretty sure explains why some days I feel fine and other days I feel really tired. I've been talking for five minutes about my neck. Get on with it, Han. Basically, we're gonna do a little trial of being on medication for my thyroid to replace the hormone that it's not always producing enough of but yeah wanted to update you on my issues <laughs> one of many some may say the amount of p.o box stuff that's been sitting on this desk for quite a while now is outrageous so i'm gonna do a little p.o box haul for you later on in this vlog because there are some such lovely bits here i feel so lucky this whole bag is Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know what angel on this earth put me on the Charlotte Tilbury PR list, but you are going to heaven, my friend. Thank you from the bottom of my heart and the heart of my bottom. Here's my little angel in the sunshine. I haven't made my bed yet, don't judge. Because this little one's been on it all morning. Does anyone else's dog's paws smell like popcorn when they're having a nap? P.S. Can anyone else see a teddy bear in her paw right there? This is the head. Oh, sorry. But yeah, I love the smell of her popcorn paws. If she's had a long nap, I would bottle the smell of these pores and use it as perfume. I love it. Or maybe I'm just too obsessed. I've just taken a little picky picture of this week's Tenor Tuesday, because obviously it's Tuesday right now, and this is the design of the week, Golden Palm. I think this design is really underrated. I found this on the web. Oh, stop it, Siri. This is what it looks like, and this does sell every week, but I don't get tagged in a lot of photos of dogs wearing this design. But it's super practical, because it's mostly black, the colours on it are lovely, it's like a muted green and gold. I just think it's adorable. The inside mesh colour is green as well. Lovely stuff. As always, I'll leave a link to Sunnyside in the description down below. I'm going to quickly edit that photo and schedule it to post on Instagram tonight. But this afternoon, I'm actually going out for lunch with my boyfriend. He's got a week off this week of annual leave. 
just because he had it left over. So we had to use it before April, I think. We're gonna go to like a local nice pub, I think. Go and have a good old bit of pub grub. Sunny was gonna come with us, but I think she's actually gonna stay here with my mum today. And I'm excited. I've only had one little brioche for breakfast this morning because I wanted to be hungry. There's nothing I love more than going out for food. Now, anyway. If you'd have said that to me a few months ago, the anxiety could not cope with it. But I always loved going out for food before that, and now I've re-found my love of going out for food, which makes me very, very happy. God, I've picked like the bumpiest car park to start this vlog section in. Um, but we've just been for lunch. I completely forgot to film what we had. But I had um, brie, deep fried brie with breadcrumbs on it. It was lovely. And then a chicken burger. What did you have? Uh, sticky chicken starter and a steak ciabatta roll. That looked know. nice and half my burger because I couldn't finish it. One of the best things about having a boyfriend is that no food goes to waste because whatever I don't finish, he finishes. <laughs> and then he said one of the best things about having a girlfriend is that they don't finish their food so he gets to eat it. I get extra. You get extra. Everyone really liked the boring story in our vlog by the way. It was a boring story. I know it was. Everyone was, was so nice about you. They were like, oh you can tell he's a keeper because he pretended to be interested in your boring story. Um, anyway, going home now. I'm gonna go up to the office this afternoon. We should go here, by the way. This place where we're driving past. They've got like loads of antiques there and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they've got like a pop figure shop as well. <laughs> oh, and they've got pop figures. Great. We'll go and see the pop figures. Maybe they've got some limited editions. I hope so. Exclusives. What would I call them when it's limited? It's exclusives. Oh, they are exclusives. <laughs> so I'm gonna go home. Go to the office, take Sunny with me, and then I've got an eyelash appointment this afternoon. I feel like this eye has had a bit of a shed lately because I've lost quite a lot. I need to redo some of my nails as well. But yeah, it's a little update on my day. Hello, I'm at the office and I'm currently packing the Tenor Tuesday orders. Little golden palm, as I showed you guys. Whenever I'm packing, I always picture the dogs that these are gonna go on. I feel like this one, if your name is Nicole and you live in Leeds and you order this extra small harness, I imagine that your dog is a, I'm gonna say Pomeranian. Could be a sausage dog though. Anyway, I'm gonna continue my packing and then go for my eyelashes. I'm just having like a little top up today because I only had them done a couple of weeks ago and one of my eyes is pretty much fine. See this one? Like I haven't really lost that many from that. But this one needs a top up and I'm off to London tomorrow so I thought I'd get booked in. Why not? My eyelashes have become my little monthly treat to myself. Guys, it's pancake day. It got stuck to the pan but it's alright and if you don't go for lemon and sugar on pancake day, you're doing it wrong. Let me know in the comments down below. Did you have pancakes? If so, how many? And what did you put on yours? I won't judge if you say Nutella, strawberry, banana. If it's something rogue, I may. If it's lemon and sugar, we can be best friends. Happy Wednesday. My eyelashes are looking so much better. Absolutely love this. I think the hybrid lashes are just the ones for me. I wanted a little bit more than the classics, but I think like a full Russian set would just be too much for my face. Hybrids are the one that suit me best. It's Wednesday morning and today I'm actually heading into London with my best friend Leanne. We've had this planned for quite a while now. So we've actually got tickets to the Saving Grace podcast tour thing tonight in London. It's in Leicester Square. I bought the tickets when they came out because the Saving Grace podcast is literally my favourite podcast to listen to. I just think GK Barry is hilarious. Now, Leanne doesn't listen to the podcast. <laughs> she like, she knows of a few TikTokers, there's a few people she watches, but bless her, she's such a good friend that she said to me, do you know what, I'll just come with you. I don't want you to miss out because I don't know anyone else that listens to the podcast. So she offered to come with. And we've decided to make a little day out of it. So we're actually gonna head there really early this morning. And I think we're gonna go to Chinatown. We're gonna try a bunch of different foods that I've seen on TikTok. TikTok. We might find a little exhibition type thing if we can, have some dinner and then go and see the show this evening. So it should be a really nice day. I woke up this morning with a little bit of an anxious feeling and I'm not really sure why, which reminds me, nothing that a little bit of Rescue Rem can't fix. I think it might just be because it's like a social media type event tonight and I haven't been to one for ages. Obviously it's not like it's not an event event, but there's going to be a lot of social media people there. I don't know, it just makes me feel a bit nervous because I haven't been around these circles for years. Anyway, let's head to London. Number one place on my list to try today is Bunsik, which is Korean corn dogs. They look incredible. I bought these trainers last week and they arrived yesterday because I'm going to Paris in April, very exciting. But I wanted a pair of black trainers that are really comfortable because obviously we're going to be doing a lot of walking. And these are the New Balance... Three two sevens. I like them. I've worn them out on one dog walk and they seemed comfortable, so I'm hoping they don't let me down for trekking around London today. I'll link them down below. 
in case you like them. This is my outfit. It's kind of hard because like obviously we're going to the theatre tonight but also I feel like it's going to be a very casual theatre show. So for one I didn't want to wear like a posh theatre outfit anyway, do you know what I mean? Like normally for the theatre I would dress up a little bit. But also I didn't want to spend the entire day in London in like a posher theatre outfit. Hello! <laughs> my hoodie is just a plain white... I think it's called Gildan, just one from eBay. This jacket is from Zara. This bag is the Emily bag from the Couples. They do so many different versions of this now, but I don't think they actually sell the one with gold hardware anymore. I think it's silver now. I've had it for years. These black flares are from Gilly Hicks, and then obviously I've got my new New Balance on. I actually added a link tree to my Instagram where I now put links to my outfit items. So if there's anything specifically that you see me wearing an outfit pick, it's in the bio. <laughs> Oh, are you gonna be such a good girl today? My mum's looking after her today because I'm gonna be out all day. I am really looking forward to today, but I hate leaving her at the same time. I know it's literally only one day, but we both have a bit of separation anxiety, don't we? Actually, no, Sunny doesn't. Sunny's fine. Me, on the other hand. <laughs> so I'm now with Leanne. Yeah. We're on the train. <laughs> you excited? Yeah, so excited. Same. We were just talking about like what TikTokers Leanne watches because. Like, you watch some TikTok, but not loads, don't you? I'm more of a for you page scroller. Yeah. Than a, than a, than a like, like, particular person. Yeah, yeah, same. I just kind of find that, like, the same people will come up on my for you page quite a lot. So I just, like, I would Mine's consider me watching food. it. Is it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yours is, like, all the food that we're trying today. Yeah. But you like Maddie Grace, Maddie Grace Jepsen? Yeah. And Brooke, what's her name, Brooke? Oh, I don't know. I feel like it's Brooke you are. My most watched TikTokers are probably like, not even on TikTok, more like podcasts, like Grace, Joe and George Bags watch their podcast, Max and George Clark. Do you know George Clark? Yeah, I think so. We're trying to guess who the guest is going to be today, because like Grace is bringing out guests. Could be George Clark, actually. He's the funny one, isn't he? Yeah, he's funny. funny. He's like Will from In Between Us. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're going to head into Leicester Square and Chinatown, Ooh. and then we'll keep you updated on the food that we get, because honestly, we have a day of food planned. We are literally <laughs> going to pick out. We are. I'm that's that is so the plan. much money, but I can't wait. No. What else is there to spend money on than food? No better thing. <laughs> the next station is Leicester Square. City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. So guys, we've just had our Korean corn dogs. What did you think? So good. We forgot to show you them. I know, I did forget to show you, but I filmed some like TikTok clips, so I'll put them in instead. But we both got the half and half. If you come to Bunsik, and we both said we would next time get the original, like the cheese bit was nice, so they do like half cheese and then half hot dog. Whereas we thought it was gonna be like hot dog cheese, you know what I mean? Yeah, the cheese bit was nice, but it wasn't like as stringy as we thought it was gonna be, I'd say. But the hot dog part was so good. So I think next time I would get the original with the potato on the outside. I bet that's Ooh. nice. Mm. Yeah. What would you rate it out of 10? Seven. Yeah, I agree. I think a seven. If, if, it was it was original, if it was original, yeah, I agree. Yeah. The hot dog was so lovely. So right, anyway, next up, Chinatown Bakery. Right, so we're back for round two. Now we've got the sweet stuff. So Leanne's got these pancakes, they look so good. What you got? Um, pancakes with Nutella oh, and strawberry. Yum. What was the place called? Do you know? F, F, yeah, yeah. I'll put it on screen. Yeah, I'm probably not saying that right. They look so yummy though. And I got from the Chinatown Bakery some pandan cake. I've been honestly thinking about this for probably a month now. Since we had this trip planned, I knew I wanted to try this because this cake, look how fluffy it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, it feels so soft. Look at it. Oh my god. Right, here we go. Oh my god, it's so light. It does taste really nice. What does it taste like? It's not really that flavoured. Oh. Or is it? It's kind of, I want to say like a little bit vanilla -y. See what you think. It's just really light. I don't know what flavour that is. I don't know what flavour that is. It's nice though. Mm. I'm happy I've finally tried it. <laughs> what are you rating your pancakes out of 10? Honestly, 10. Really? You've had them once before, I haven't have you? Them before. Yeah. That's why I wanted to get them again. They do look but so they good. They are my absolute favourite pancakes. They look really fluffy. They're so light. Show me we weren't here yesterday because it was pancake day yesterday. I bet they were well busy. Yeah. yeah. I would rate the pandan cake 
I'm gonna say an eight out of 10, because it's a nice flavor, but I don't know what the flavor is. Unless pandan, is that a flavor? I don't really don't know, I need to just Google it and learn. But I also got from the bakery, there's a lady like at the front window, you can kind of see just here. And she's making these custard filled fish. Aww. Look, how cute is that? And it was four for £2.50. Also, the pandan cake was only £1.60. That's so cheap. How much were your pancakes? £4 something? Yeah, the corn dogs were like £4 something. It's so affordable. I'm going to try one of these little custard fish now. Oh my god. That's better than the pandan cake. Really? Mm. That is so yum. It's like vanilla, custard, kind of like donuts. Four of these I've got. Buzzing. <laughs> I would rate the fish 9 out of 10. Ooh. What did I say for pandan? 8. Nice. Maybe pandan can go down to 6 now. Because these six? are dead. Yeah, Ooh. these are an 8. These are nice. You say you're special. One of a kind. One of the better boys. I'm on your level. That's what you say. But all I hear is noise. I don't have time for. Trying my luck. I've been too hurt before. You're not that special. Just give it up. I think I've had enough I'm too busy loving my friends I ain't got no love to spare for you I'ma be that girl to the end It don't really matter what you do Guess I have to tell you again Cause you haven't got the news Oh, you really need to understand. Right, so we've just been to the Sophie T Art Gallery. What did you think? So cute. It was really cute in there. And the main thing is, it was warm. Like, the weather was starting yeah. to get bad when we were walking there. Cold, a bit drizzly. But it feels like it's got better since we've come out, yeah, actually. It's got a bit warmer. So now, we are walking to... Oh, we're now on Carnaby Street. Gonna have a look around here. But I'd recommend that um, museum thing if you're in the area. It's quite small, but it's really cute. We've got some cute pictures in there. Yeah, something to see, something to do. And now we're on Carnaby Street. Here it is. Oh, Leanne's found another exhibition for us. Apparently this makes your shadows... Oh, you're a bit small. Too small for me. Hang on, try again. Oh, there we go. See me? Yeah. It's behind you though, wait. Where do I need to go? Sort Here? of to the side, that's it. At least it works for me. So you must be at least five foot five to do this. <laughs> it's so pointless. That's not very inclusive, is it? <laughs> it does look cool though. It's cool. I mean, it's free, so. Yeah. Can you tell we're trying to like kill time now before dinner, before the show tonight? But now we're gonna go to, I think, Liberty London, down the end of Carnaby Street. Is it that way or that way? Uh, I'm not sure, I just think that. Um, so we're gonna go and have a look around Liberty. I've never been, have you? Nope, but I've heard about it. I did watch a documentary about it once. Oh. I love documentaries like that, about places in London. So, yeah. Let's go and see what Liberty has in store for us. Hopefully they won't nothing take liberties. <laughs> yeah, nothing we can actually get to buy. That I don't wanna be your girlfriend, girlfriend. No, I don't wanna be your girlfriend. We're in Liberty in the lift. Oh, oh I hate lifts. I don't want my tummy feel funny. <laughs> We're going to find the toilet and then have a look around for all the posh people. We just went in H&M home because there's a whole store of it. And oh my god, it was so nice. Is this where the toilets are? I think so. Oh, I feel a bit nervous. We're on the ground floor? First floor, can't remember. Nice. First floor, in the women's wear. We just went to the designer, the vintage designer bit, and I said to Leanne, they had a Birkin in like a case. I was like, I've never seen a Birkin in real life before. I knew they were expensive. We both leaned in to look at the price like this, and it said 58 and a half thousand. We just kind of went, Leanne went, does that say 58,000 pounds? I was like, imagine walking into a shop and being like, I love that one. Yeah, I love that one for 58 and a half grand insane there's like a big hole in the middle of the shop that goes all the way up honestly if you can find the documentary about it watch it look at this can't even imagine the price although to be fair that one's not in a cage so it's not 58 and a half grand this is how we know leanne's been in liberty too long now because she just walked up to this she walked up to this lamp in the background and went oh that's only five grand that i thought it'd be like 50 grand so did i to be fair and this place your bets in the comments below how much do you think this is 895 that was another one that Leanne thought was a bargain. <laughs> I'll take five. I'll take five. This is giving Tudor vibes, this window over here. And lovingly from the window, you can see five guys. This isn't drone footage. <laughs> this is just a very small liberty. So we just went in a photo booth. We're literally still down Carnaby Street and then there was just this little sign on the side of the road that said, 
photo booth this way so obviously we followed the sign found this really cute little court actually like where there's loads of food places yeah, and stuff really completely hidden so we went in the photo booth got these photos lovely. taken lovely then we're waiting for them to be printed on the outside of the photo booth and the booth starts flashing again we didn't realize that you get two strips so the next lot of strips obviously we rushed back in to get more pictures oh there they are and then we're cracking up at the fact that we literally lost out on two photos but they are really cute aren't they yeah they are cute lovely pics anyway <laughs> honestly we can't do anything right we can't even do a photo booth right <laughs> it didn't to be fair there were no clear instructions no there wasn't it was just kind of like a get in pay your fiver yeah. and then that's it but we're now gonna walk to back to leicester square about 15 minute walk what's the time half four so we've only got really like an hour yeah. before we need to think about eating before the show exciting so we're currently in the queue for the lego store and i really hope that my boyfriend's not watching this because the last time i was in leicester square was with him and i told him there's no way i'm queuing for the lego store and now we have and we've literally queued for as long as it was so i didn't allow him to queue for it and now we are <laughs> Uh oh, he won't be watching, it's fine. We're gonna see if we could do like the personalized Legos. Well, we're gonna see how much they are, first of all. If they're like 50 pounds, absolutely not. But we'll see. I don't know what's going on today, but there's loads of Star Wars people around. I think he's from Star Wars anyway. There was like a Star Wars exhibition on. Oh God, it's all happening now. Someone's getting married. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> We're in. Leanne, show me how you feel about being in the Lego store in one move. <laughs> Size of this Big Ben. I feel sorry for the employee that had to make that, honestly. How long would that have taken? We're now underground in a really exclusive restaurant, guys. We're in Chipotle, in the extra seating. Um, so I've never had Chipotle before, I don't think I have anyway. But do you remember when we was in year like year 11 I made that t-shirt that said would commit sins for Chipotle? Remember that? Oh, yeah. I saw it on Tumblr back in the day. <laughs> never had Chipotle though, I was an absolute fraud. But I'm having my first one, I believe anyway. So, Leanne, what have you gone for? Gone Talk for us chicken burrito. Chicken burrito. And we've got some chips and dip. Chips and dip otherwise known as tortilla chips <laughs> and i went for the chicken bowl you got black beans in yours got um the other one what was that called well, yeah what is that pinto I don't know. You have to try it. yeah i'll try them they're in here somewhere but i got the corn i got sour cream lettuce cheese chicken and brown rice yummy should i do a taste test on camera we've eaten so much today i don't even feel that hungry but i'm gonna eat this because it's here oh my god i wasn't expecting to be that flavorful not gonna lie that's so nice Mm. Oh my god, I love the sour cream on it. Anyway, we're gonna eat our dinner now and then we're gonna go to the show. I probably won't vlog at the show because I feel a bit awkward. Turns out I wasn't allowed to film anyway and this is the only clip I got. So we've just got on the train. We weren't allowed to film anything in there. I took a sneaky picture. We were like re really near the front, weren't we? Like the fourth row. The show was really good, really funny. And the um, the guest was Pete Wicks, in case you're interested. It wasn't George Clark who we thought it was gonna be. Who else? Old Brooke, wasn't Brooke. Pete Wicks, but it's a good one. Um, did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was really funny. Yeah. And, and would you what, would you listen to Grace's podcast now? Maybe I don't listen to podcasts. Though. Oh yeah. yeah. I'll let you off. You don't listen. If you did listen to podcasts, well, if I did, I would. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fair enough. Anyway, got our Percy Peaks, and we're on the train home. I feel knackered now. We've done a lot of walking today, all around Leicester Square, Covent Garden. Oh no, we didn't go to Covent Garden. We forgot. We went to Chinatown and we went to Carnaby Street. That's the one. It's time for bed. <laughs> Hello, me again. So it's Saturday morning and I've just washed my hair and done my makeup. Oh my god guys, I can't even tell you how obsessed I am with my new eyebrow products I've been using. I've got so many questions and compliments about my eyebrows since I switched to this routine. And I was a little bit daunted to switch because I've done my eyebrows with some kind of pomade and then a brow gel over the top for years. But I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try and I'm so glad I did. So I've definitely mentioned this before, but I'll just quickly tell you. I've been using this brow gel from By Caitlin. I found it on TikTok. I also wanna try the pink honey one. Apparently that's really good, but it's literally just a clear brow gel. See it there, I've just like dipped into it. You get a free brush with it as well to use, a free spoolie. So I put that on my brows and I like comb them into shape with the brush 
and it holds it in place so well. Then I'll do the rest of my face and then at the end I use this over the top, the NYX Lift and Snatch in the shade Taupe? 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 How do you say that word? Anyway, use that, draw the little brush strokes on. It gives my brows such a nice shape. Anyway, very exciting. The lovely team over at GHD sent me this and I am so grateful. I've seen adverts for this on the telly and as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God, that's genius. So it's a two in one product. It is the most gorgeous thing I've seen in my life. Look at that. And basically you can style and straighten your hair from wet. So in my mind, it's like a hairdryer and a straightener in one. So I thought I would test it out. Perfect timing because I've just washed my hair. And I want to give you guys a little review. I haven't even got it out of the box yet. Oh, it comes with a little hat. <laughs> Maybe I should glance over the instructions. Towel dry hair, done that. Divide your hair. Place the product close to the root, holding for three seconds and glide the hair downwards. Sounds easy. So if I can get out the shower and dry and style it in one, that sounds like a lazy girl's dream. How satisfying. I'm assuming she needs to warm up. Let me try and show you the inside. Oh, the fan's going. Here she goes. But it basically looks like down the middle is where the air is gonna come out and then at the sides looks like a straightener. Obviously, heat protectant. Let's go for it. I'm so sorry about the sun, I feel like you can't see me that well. But I've literally just done the first two, and my hair is dried and straight. And then in the user manual, it says that this little button here, the shine shot, is what you use at the end. So you hold that down for four seconds, and I think it basically becomes just a straightener. The temperature goes up and the fan goes off, and it straightens your hair and makes it even more shiny right at the end. Right, let's continue with the drying. I can't, this literally bone dry, and my hair takes so long to dry as well. I love the noise. <laughs> uh, right, so my hair is dry. I'm now going to use the shine shot and see what happens. Okay. Oh, she's up to temperature. Oh, it's definitely hotter. My hair feels so smooth. I can't believe that literally 20 minutes ago, my hair was soaking wet and now it's dried and straightened. That is unheard of for me. Usually, it would take me 20 minutes just to dry my hair and then another 20 minutes to straighten it. So quick. Thank you so much to the team at GHD for this. Honestly, I'm gonna use this so much. I'll leave a link to this product in the description down below. It's definitely an investment. But if you're also lazy with your hair and you wish that you took the time to style it more, this is the one for you. It would be a great thing to put on your birthday wish list, your Christmas list. I would genuinely highly recommend it. I'm very impressed. I present to you the two loves of my life. One, is she down there? Here she is, Snoozy McSnoozerson. Say hello everyone. <laughs> You're so sweet. Sunny's number one and the second love of my life. Stop it, I caved. I feel so basic. Has anyone else been on Stanley Cup TikTok for like a month now at least? Actually, definitely more than a month because I ordered this on the 9th of January and it arrived this week. This isn't the style of Stanley Cup that's gone viral on TikTok. That one is called, I think it's like the Quencher or something. It's bigger than this one. However, when I was doing my research, and you best believe I did my research on this, people were saying that the one with the handle at the side is great, but it's really big and it's not spill proof because obviously that one's got the straw sticking out all the time. I'll put a picture on screen in case you don't know what I'm on about. Whereas this one is called the Ice Flow and it's got this straw that like goes up and down and people say this one is more spill proof than the other one. I haven't tested it yet, so I can't say fully. It's got the handle at the top, super convenient. You can put it in your bag. Put it in your car cup holder and it is so nice to drink from. The colour of mine is called Cloud. I think it's so pretty. The only thing I will say is that people are selling these for ridiculous amounts of money at the moment. They have been since like before Christmas. I paid £39 for this which is still excessive for a water bottle. I know that. But when you think like Chili's bottles are what? 30 quid odd in the UK. This has come from America. 
So I've only really paid like an extra nine pounds and it's much bigger than my Chili's bottle. And since it arrived, I've drank so much more water. But yeah, people are selling them on Amazon for like 80 pounds. However, I do think that 39, I know it's excessive, but I think it's worth it. Your drink stays cold for 12 hours or if there's ice in it, cold for 48 hours. And that's my review of my Stanley Cup. Anyway, I'm actually going to one of my best mates tonight for a little girl's night. We're gonna have a takeaway, a little catch up. I'm really looking forward to that. So I wanna get the rest of this vlog edited, uploaded and done before I go. So I'm gonna leave this week's vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I feel like it's a good one this week with Leanne. We had such a good day in London. I absolutely loved it. That's it from me. I hope you've all had a lovely week. Hope you're having a lovely relaxing Sunday. Do subscribe to see my future videos. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope next week treats you well. And I will see you again next Sunday for another little video. Bye guys. Love ya. Bye.